Hello guys and welcome to a new video of this JavaFX 8 tutorial. And today's video we're gonna start looking uh, or learning some uh, things about layouts. And through layouts we are gonna use uh, all the classes that come uh, from the paint class. And today's video will be about HBox and VBox. Okay, so here we are in NetBeans and we have created another application another JavaFX class and inside of it we have uh, as you know a root node with the class group and also we have created three nodes okay one rectangle one ellipse and one control which is a button okay then we have created uh, the H box and then the V box okay we're gonna add these three elements these three nodes to each of them of these uh, these panes. Okay, so you can see how it looks in the in the in the window. Okay, so first we're gonna review how a H box uh, work. And um, well, uh, the idea behind this is that we are we are gonna add elements uh, in an horizontal way inside of this H box. Okay, all the elements will start uh, appearing from the top left corner. Uh, and then we're gonna start putting uh, to the right uh, of the of the of each of them okay, until we fill the the H box. Okay, so then we can modify it or within we can format this H box. And for example, we can uh, give some space between these elements, as you can see here, and that is called a spacing. And here you can define the spacing. And uh, when you create uh, the H box, you can uh, in the constructor you can add the number of pixels that you want uh, between each of these uh, nodes, each of these uh, shapes. That is the spacing. Also, we have a border, okay, a border of the H box, and we can uh, the, define an offset okay, um, in pixels where you want to uh, each of these uh, shapes start appearing. And that will be called padding. Okay, and you can see the padding in brown. And we can find the padding here by using the method set padding. And then inside of it, you need to add an inset by using the class insets. Okay, so the inset will be that offset that I, that I just mentioned. You have the border, and then you want an inset of three, for example, here three pixels. That means that three pixels from the border is where the shapes are going to start appearing. For example, this constructor, if you only uh, give one number, it will apply for all of the sides of this H box. Okay, so then we will have a padding of three from on this side, then on this side, and, and so on. Okay, and as you can see, the shapes start uh, appearing just where the padding uh, says okay that's the padding and also we can uh, define a margin of each uh, shape uh, by using the set margin method you need to call the set margin method by using the, the class hbox not the object it's, it's in, uh, the class you need to use the class because this is an static uh, method okay set margin and Inside of the set margin, you need to say uh, define the the shape that you want to have this margin, and also the second argument will be a, an inset, an inset class, and you need to define again the number of pixels that you want uh, this margin to to appear or to be set. Okay, for example, here we want a margin of two on each side of the of this shape this circle okay so we have the circle and then from the parent bounds we're gonna count two pixels and that will be the margin of the of the shape okay and you can set a margin for each of these, these shapes if you want also uh, we have to consider that the spacing will be always the same. For example, we have 10 pixels of spacing, and then we're gonna count 
2 pixels of margin for this shape and that will be the total space between these two shapes and the same in this place 2 pixels of margin for this, uh, uh, this shape and then 10 pixels of spacing and then the other shape will appear that's how the, the spacing and the margin works in, in, in this H box. Okay, so as you can see here, we have defined our uh, our H box here with the same uh, properties that you see that you saw on the slide, and also we have this set H row, uh, which is uh, a method will will set or will define uh, when you resize the H box. If that is, is possible, when you resize the H block, which, uh, which node will fill the remaining space? Which node will have the priority to fill the remaining space? Okay, in this case, we have to find the button, and, and its priority will be always. It will have always a priority to define the, the, to fill the space. Okay, so if we execute, execute this application, it will look like this. Okay. We have our rectangle, our ellipse, our circle here, and our button. Okay, and it has, as you can see, the padding, the border is here, and the padding will be two, uh, two, three pixels on each side. And then, and then we have the circle, 10 pixels of spacing, then two pixels of margin, and then we have the circle. And the same for this side. Two, uh, 2 pixels of margin, 10 pixels of spacing, and then we have the, 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 the button here. And as I said before, if we resize this, uh, this node, in this case it's not possible, this button will fill all the remaining space when the, the HBox uh, changes its, its size. Okay, that's the idea. So, the B box works the same way as the H box, but all the elements will be added above, above of the of the last element of the previous element. For example, we have here this uh, this shape, and above of it, we will have the next shape. And always we're gonna have the same spacing properties, the margin, and also the padding. It works the same way, only uh, that all the elements will be added uh, in a vertical way. That's the idea of a V box. So we can we have a V box here, and we can change the, uh, the pane in order to display the V box in the application. And we are going to do that so you can see what happens. Okay, we're adding to the VBOX here, we're adding all the elements with get children and add all the methods, all the elements. And also to the root node, we're adding the VBOX as well. So let's execute the application so you can see how it looks. Okay, so there you go. So the same, same um, as in the H box, all the elements will be added starting from the top left corner, as you can see here, with the padding, okay, triple six padding, and also the spacing will will uh, will appear here with the margin, and then you will see above the next uh, shape. And the same here, and it's, um, a margin of 2 pixels, then a spacing of 10 pixels, and then the control will appear here. So that's the idea behind the H box and the B box to add elements in an horizontal way or in an in a vertical way. So thank you guys for watching this video. And don't miss the next video uh, about layouts and we're gonna learn how to use a flow pane. Okay, so like, subscribe and share and see you next video.